Hi friends, Lindsay here from Diary of a Homeschool Mama and I want to give you a full flip through of the Sassafras Science Adventures by Paige Hudson, which is also the creator of Elemental Science. So we are going to be doing this for science this year. I was going to use Build Your Library for my oldest, um, but I decided not to, mainly because of the cost. Um, they use Real Science Odyssey, and the textbook for that is like 80, 83 or $88. Plus, we would have needed a microscope. We also would have needed um, all the additional books that go with it for Build Your Library, because it's very book heavy. So the cost was just too much for this year with our budget. I was really sad about it because the science looked awesome. Um, but it was just more practical for us to do a family style science and or something cheaper for my oldest. But I really couldn't find anything. So I had him go ahead and look through this, which is what his youngest brother was going to use. And he really liked it. So we are going to be doing this together. This only covers half of the year, so zoology for the first half, and then anatomy is the second book for the second half. Um, but this program is story formats. Um, it kind of reminds me of Story of the World, if you're familiar with that program. Um, I have a video of Story of the World. It's either up now or it's coming up. I, I don't know with my upload schedule, but if it is up now, I will link it in the comments below, or in the uh, description box below. But it's, it kind of reminds me of that a lot and how it's laid out. But we will be learning so much through this program. I'm really excited. Um, but it's set up in sections just like Story of the World. So chapter one has 1.2 and one, or 1 1.1 and 1.2 to read. So here is the first section. It's a little bit longer reading than Story of the Worlds. Um, and here is the second section. So the reading is a little long, but I think we will enjoy it a lot. I'm really excited to dive into it. And the next thing is the teacher guide. Um, and I also have the assignments for both of my kids. And I'm kind of going to show you how it's going to work for a student who's in fifth grade and how it's going to work for a student who's in second grade as well. But this is the teacher guide and this has everything in it that I will need. Um, here's the table of contents. Here's just some information. They have additional library books listed by chapter. And then they have all of the demonstration supplies and the project supp supplies because there are there are demonstrations every week but there are also optional projects to do if you want to um here is a list of all the characters found in the book and then here we are with chapter one um as you can see if you're familiar with elemental science the scheduling is kind of set up the same you have the two-day option or you have the five-day option um now the lap book which is what I got for my youngest to use. It has a four day option. So we will be actually following the four day option for the most part, unless we have a little extra to do, then we will take a fifth day and do our extra work for it. But I love that there are the different schedule options because that's really cool and really helpful. Um, so when you go into the um, chapter here, basically, they have what you're going to be reading through your Sassafras book. Then they have the optional encyclopedia readings, which we did get the encyclopedias. Um, I didn't bring them for the video though here. Um, we have the additional library books and then it goes into the different assignments that they'll be doing each week. And then it has everything you need to know for the scientific demonstration. And then it goes into the multi-week projects and activities. And then we have the copy work and dictation. So this is very helpful for um, the parent who is doing the schooling. It lays everything out for you. And then the next thing is what my oldest son will be doing for his assignments. It is the SIDAT logbook. Sorry if there's a glare. Um, but this is his 
his book and then my old, my youngest son, sorry, will be doing the uh, lap book that goes with it. So their assignments are pretty similar, but the lap book um, isn't as much writing and stuff as um, this has. Like, he's going to be writing summaries and he's going to be doing these um, habitat pages and um, different animal record sheets. He's going to be doing a little bit of mapping with the different habitats. So, um, a lot more stuff for him to do than my youngest son's. Um, this is the project record sheet. So after we do projects, he will uh, put the information here. Um, but just, this is, this is how I'm able to make it work for both ages because they have so many great options available um, that it really works out well. So that is his workbook. And then we have, let me grab the lap book here. I haven't actually set it up as a lap book yet. Um, I did go ahead and get the printed version so I wouldn't have to print it myself. So I went ahead and just um, put all the pages in a binder. And as we need them, we will pull them out. So I have the zoology and the anatomy one in here now. But the lap book is really cool and I think he's really going to like it. So here we have, this is just showing what the lap book will look like um, once it's completed. Now you have the option to either do um, a bunch of many lap books, which would basically equal out to 18 because it's like a lap book, a chapter, I think, or you can do one big lap book. And that's probably what we're going to do is the one big one. Um, but yeah, it gives you an idea of what the lap book each one will look like. It goes in and it has like lesson information. So if you only had like a younger child and you wanted to do the lap booking, um, you wouldn't necessarily have to buy like the teacher guide or anything because in the lap book, it has everything laid out for you, um, which is really cool. But here is all of that. And then let me flip ahead a little bit. Here is where the actual lap booking pages are so if he was going to do all the separate lap books um we have a page to put on each one for the cover but since we're probably not going to do all those separate lap books and we're just going to do one big one i'll probably use the um like this page maybe or something for the cover but he also has like lab reports and stuff in here i don't know how much we'll use that kind of stuff um, with him yet. Sorry, these pages are hard to turn. And then it has like life cycle pages and stuff like that. Here we get to the vocabulary cards. There's like a little pocket for each lap book that those will go in. And then we have the glossary. And then let's get to the actual lap booking pages here. So he has all these different templates that he will do on different days. And it's really cool because in the story, the um, twins use like a little phone or like a tablet or something to um, record all the information that they learn. So the little um, lap booking pages are like the little phone that they're using, which is really cute, I think. And I think he'll enjoy that. But that is pretty much all. That is what um, the lap book looks like. So we are really excited to get started with this. And I will definitely have a full review once we finish um, of this program. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will talk to you later.